Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I am a pregnant mom of one sweet three-year-old. In today's video, I will be sharing some easy, inexpensive, and sometimes educational activities I've done with my daughter Aubrey to keep her occupied and having fun. So let's get into this. First up, we have the simple number recognition and counting activity. You will want to take separate pieces of paper, write numbers on the papers, and draw the corresponding number of circles on the page. I did this up to the number 10, but you can do as little or as many as you'd like. Then you can give your kiddos Cheerios, beads, or other objects that will fit inside the circles that you drew. This morning that we were doing this activity, we used some of Aubrey's freeze-dried strawberries. Have them put one object in each circle and count with them as they add each one. Can you do five strawberries? One, two, three, four, Five, good job. Next up, we have this easy DIY outdoor chalk paint. To make this, you just need cornstarch, water, and if you want, food coloring. Add enough water to the cornstarch until the mixture is liquidy all the way through and there are no thick chunks of cornstarch anywhere. In the past, we've gone outside and painted the sidewalk and driveway, but on this day, I thought it would be fun to give her car a little paint job. Later, when she seemed to be done with the activity, we gave her car a car wash to entertain her some more. Here's your sponge and your water. Thanks. Wash, wash, car. Wash, car. Nice. Lovely job, Aubrey. You're doing a great job cleaning your car. Dip it in the water to clean off the sponge, and then you can keep cleaning your car. The great thing about this chalk paint is that it washes away with water and in my opinion is much more fun than sidewalk chalk. The next activity is to make primary colored taste safe play-doh. I will list the recipe that I use down below in the comments if you'd like to try to make this for your kiddos. I really like how all of the ingredients are kid friendly, although I'm sure your kiddos won't want to eat a huge chunk of this since there is a lot of salt used to make this recipe. After making the initial dough, I separated it into thirds and colored one third red, one third blue, and one third yellow. I divided each of these into thirds and paired up a yellow with a blue, a yellow and a red, and then a red and a blue, and kept the remaining primary colors separate, although I didn't mix these all the way through. I was going to leave that up to Aubrey. Hey Aubrey, what color are these? What color? What color is that? Yeah, yeah. And what color is that? Blue. Okay, now mix it together. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that makes green. Mm -hmm. Yellow and blue make green. My original plan was to give Aubrey each set of colors separately and have her play with them and mix them and see what new color they created. But when I gave her the second set of colors, she stopped me from taking away the first set and proceeded to mix everything together. If I were to do this again, I would probably just focus on one color combination per day and spread out the activity over three days. So like have a green themed day and do green themed activities and then an orange themed day and a purple themed day and so on. Up next, we have a golf tee cardboard box activity. Just grab any cardboard box you have lying around, I know you have at least one, and some golf tees. 
Lucky for me, my dad has a whole bunch lying around, so I grabbed some of his. Using a knife, I cut little X's into one side of the box. Without any instruction, Aubrey's initial response to this activity was to insert the golf tee into the holes. She also used a little toy hammer to hammer the tees further into the box. Later on, after playing with this for a while, she began to create her own holes in the box by just pressing a little bit harder. This activity helps the kiddos with their fine motor skills and entertained Aubrey for some time with relatively little effort. For the next activity, you will just need some paper, a marker, and stickers. Using the marker, draw a curvy line on the paper. This can be elaborate and incorporate loops, or be simple and wavy. Then give your kiddos some stickers. I like to get mine from the Dollar Tree because you can get anywhere from 150 to 250 stickers for just a buck. Have the little ones place their stickers on the line. Later on, you can write out letters instead of lines and talk about the letters that they are placing the stickers on. I like this activity because it takes very little effort and is relatively inexpensive to do. I actually did this activity with kids ranging from two years old to four years old and all of them enjoyed it. Finally, we have beads in a medicine box. Both of these items can be purchased from the Dollar Tree. When we initially bought the beads, Aubrey would just enjoy lining them up, but recently she's even started to separate them by color and organize them that way. The one pack of beads that we got from the Dollar Tree came with six different colors that fit perfectly into each compartment. They also have other beads at the store, and so if you wanted, you could get beads of different sizes so that you could organize by color or by size or by shape or so on. Although this can be a little bit messy if the beads spill off the table, I sometimes do bring this to restaurants to occupy her and keep her busy while the rest of us are still eating or just chatting away. I hope this list of activities gave you some new ideas to try with your kiddos. If you give any of these a try, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear how it goes for you or how you would modify it in the future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.